guys, Coach D here. Today we have the swish drill, which is uh, another catch and shoot drill that is really good because it's going to help dial in your accuracy and get you to shoot the ball higher in the air because this drill rewards a perfect swish. All right, you will get two points when you make a perfect swish. You'll get one point for just making a shot, hitting a little bit of rim, and you'll get no points for a make. Uh, sorry, no points for a miss. All right, the way the drill works, it's really, really simple drill. You're gonna get 25 total shots from one spot. You wanna be one step inside your range. So for me, it's right here about 17 feet. If you're a younger guy and your range isn't quite to the three point line yet, step it in. You wanna be one step inside your range so you're consistently making shots, all right? From this one spot, you got 25 shots. You're gonna need a rebounder on this drill, all right? Like I said, shoot it and reset. You're gonna get two points for every perfect swish. You get one point for every make. You get zero points for a miss. So out of 25 shots, your high score can be 50 points if you get 25 straight swishes. Never seen that done, but uh, it'll be really impressive and I know someone will eventually do it. Um, that's the end, right? After you get done with your shots, write down your score and then tomorrow, try and beat yourself yesterday. Always trying to beat yourself and improve a little bit. This way you can measure your progress, see how you're shooting from day to day. Points of precision, guys. They're the same points of precision that we've been working on. Your pre-catch routine, all right, is important. You wanna be physically available, which means you're down and ready. You wanna communicate, so you show your hands, you give your eyes, you call for the ball. You want to be an airborne receiver, so when the ball is in the air to you, your feet are in the air, landing into your shot. Your post-catch habits, right? You're gonna sit into your catch, three points of contact, eyes go to the rim. Those three things are non-negotiable. Once we get there, bring the ball to the shot pocket and up, then we freeze our finish, okay? The extra point of precision on this drill is it really rewards a high finish. Sometimes we get in the habit of shooting at the rim. Versus shooting high and finishing tall. Look at the rainbow jump shot by Dirk Nowitzki. My goodness, that's, that's as high as the shot clock and hits nothing but the bottom of the net. Taylor, can you get to the side so we can see that? <clears throat> so one of my bad habits when I was playing is I would shoot at the rim like this instead of shooting and releasing high. I know we don't have foam boost anymore, but that's what I was taught when I was young. If you guys ever seen like Superman, he'd go into a foam booth and change. Really tall, narrow building. So you want to think about shooting high out of a foam booth instead of straight at the rim. So this drill, <coughs> the more you can really snap your wrist and finish high and freeze everything tall, the more consistent you'll be with getting the ball to drop down through the hoop as a perfect swish. If it comes flat, it's a lot harder to get a swish. You have less room to go through, but if the ball is dropping down from a high release, you'll get a much better opportunity to get that perfect swish. You'll get a more consistent shot. And when you miss, the ball will bounce and stay on top of the rim and fall through. Give it a shot, guys. Shoot for that perfect 50. Let me know how it goes.